Welcome to this palms demonstration video which will show you how to make a toilet paper scale. In this video we're going to be talking about scales, the kind that involves mathematics not animals. Examples of scales can be found on maps. Scales tell you what the distance on the map represents in the real world. Scales are usually written as a ratio comparing two units of measurement as it's not practical to make maps to the exact scale of the real world. In this example, one centimetre on the map represents a distance of 100 kilometres in the real world. If we zoom out from this map of Australia and look at our solar system, the distances between planets are massive, millions or billions of kilometres. So if we want to make a map or even a model of our solar system, we need to use a different scale to the one on the map. That's what we're going to show you how to do in this video. Instead of using centimetres on a piece of paper to represent kilometres in the real world, we're going to represent the distance that the planets are from the sun with sheets of toilet paper. How many sheets of toilet paper do you think it will take to reach from the sun to Neptune? To make your toilet paper scale of the solar system, you'll need the following equipment. One or two rolls of toilet paper, a calculator, some paper and a pencil, labels for each planet, we've used some cardboard attached to straws, and you'll also need a long corridor or a flat outdoor space. First, you'll need to calculate how many sheets of toilet paper you'll need to represent all of the planets before starting to unroll the toilet paper. You need to make sure you have enough and you may need more than one roll. If you're going to be working outside, you'll also need something to weigh down toilet paper to stop it blowing away. The sun is at the centre of our solar system and that's the starting point for all of our measurements. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. Mercury is almost 58 million kilometres from the Sun. The planet that is furthest away is Neptune, which is almost 4.5 billion kilometres from the Sun. Hmm, you can't get a toilet roll with millions of sheets, so we need to work out a scale that will make it possible to represent these distances with just a toilet roll or two. Let's make those big numbers a little easier to deal with by rounding them. We can say Mercury is about 60 million kilometres from the Sun and the distance to Neptune is about 4,500 million kilometres. 450 million kilometres is the largest distance we need to represent and some toilet rolls have 400 sheets of paper. So the most practical scale we could use is one where one sheet of toilet paper represents 10 million kilometres in the solar system. This means you'll need to use two or more toilet rolls depending on how many sheets they have. It usually has this information on the packet. We'll show you the calculations to work out how many sheets of toilet paper will represent each planet's distance from the sun. We'll only show each planet briefly, but you can pause the video if you'd like to write the details down. Perhaps try doing the calculations for yourself after we've shown you the first one. Remember that each of these numbers are starting from the sun, which will be at the start of the toilet roll. Starting with the closest planet, Mercury, We'll first round the distance to the nearest 10 million, making it 60 million kilometres. Then, we need to divide that number by 10 million, which is our scale. Our answer is that Mercury will be six sheets of toilet paper from the Sun. The distance to the hottest planet, Venus, is about 110 million kilometres, so it will be 11 sheets of toilet paper from the Sun. The distance to the most habitable planet, Earth, is about 150 million kilometres, so it will be 15 sheets from the Sun. Mars, the planet with the largest volcano in our solar system, is about 230 million kilometres from the Sun, so our scale distance will be 23 sheets of toilet paper. The distance between the Sun and the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, is about 780 million kilometres, so our scale distance will be 78 sheets of toilet paper. Now our distances are in the billions, we're going to round to the nearest 100 million. The planet with the most visible rings, Saturn, is about 1 billion 400 million kilometres from the Sun, so it will be at the 140 sheet mark on our roll. The planet that rotates on its side, Uranus, is about 2 billion 900 million kilometres from the Sun, so our scale distance will be 290 sheets of toilet paper. And finally, the furthest planet from the Sun, Neptune, will be 450 sheets of toilet paper away from the Sun in our toilet paper scale. Now you can start rolling out your toilet paper, counting the sheets and placing the labels for each planet. Just a reminder, you'll need a really long space to roll out your toilet paper scale. 
If the weather is fine, outside is probably easiest, but make sure you anchor down your toilet paper. Here's a tour of our solar system, or at least our scale model of it. There's a whole lot of space in space. Uh-oh, we ran out of corridor and have to go around the corner to reach Neptune. After you've collected up your toilet paper scale, here's some other things you might like to try. How could you represent the size of the different planets using a scale? What scale would you need to use this time? Do some research and find out what there is in all that space in space. Could you reuse the toilet paper to make a scale model for something else? Look around for some other examples where scales are being used. Thanks for watching this Palms demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on Earth science activities, visit our website palms.edu.au.